Hey guys, Blindmatcher here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. And we are now going to use the orange jelly bean for the first time, which turns him into... A Vita Blaster! Take that, Sony! Oh, actually, it's a Vitamin Blaster. And if I can pick him up right, using your B button, you will shoot vitamins, and you can press select to cycle through them. Um, I believe you can actually glitch it out to be able to shoot your jelly beans, but I don't really advise doing that. And you can hold down to shoot level, but naturally he'll be aiming upward. And like anything you hold, if you press the jelly bean button, he will drop it. Alright, now these things, these bouncing marshmallows, you don't want to shoot them because they're like in a pattern actually you might want to shoot them well, if you shoot them they will uh, come back but you can change up their pattern to make it easier to pass through them Sometimes it's difficult to get a desirable pattern, though. That might be a little bit more desirable, but I don't know. Oh, yes. And once you pass the screen, if you go back, the enemies will be gone. Because the game will consider you to have cleared it. Alright, this is another one that I can just step between them. So their pattern doesn't matter too much. Now this is the only things that you really need the vitamins for. So feel free to spam them if you got 950 of them like I did. That may not be a good pattern. Alright, there we go. Okay, this here is dangerous. Those are cherry bombs. If they hit the ground and the boy is on the screen when they hit the ground, you die. Doesn't matter if you're not on the same screen as them. If the boy is on the screen, then he dies. There's going to be three screens of them. The best way is to just go through and spam your vitamin blaster. And there we go. That takes care of those. Now over here we have more uh, we have more uh, peppermints in the sky. So, I will try to get them. This is going to be a set of peppermints that you will probably need to use the aforementioned trick in the last episode to place him where you want him. Uh, one thing to note is that even though it's only one screen, you will die if you walk off from that top screen there. I don't want to waste them. Uh, yeah, I'll use cinnamon since the blue torch is useless. All right, so let's collect these peppermints. Yeah, you definitely want to use the down arrow to reduce your height when jumping here. Cause I don't know why that really doesn't look high enough for you to die, but 
You will. And one thing I will say about these peppermints is don't use up all your tangerine trampolines getting them. Because you do need a minimum of two trampolines from this point to beat the game. Alright, next up we have something else that's kind of aggravating. And you'll want your, uh, your vitamin blaster for it. Really only the first screen is aggravating. I would suggest holding it uh, horizontally like this and using vitamin C. You have popcorn and it will keep coming until you pass the screen. Now this popcorn will go in the same pattern every time. <coughs> ah, voice is starting to go here. But, you know, just wait for your opening and then move. And that was not an opening. It's probably easier to keep your momentum while you're under the big arc. And there you go. Now we are past the corn. And I believe right here there will be some more peppermints to get. And I do actually need to go back to the first screen with the corn because there's more up there too. Yep. There's three up here, and I believe there's either two or three on that first screen with the corn. But since we passed it, the corn will, or the popcorn will all be gone now, so we can safely traverse this area. Alright, now, over here, I believe probably in the center. Man, that blob is so slow. Uh, let's just see where it is. Not on this screen. I guess I must have overshot it by a screen. I guess it's this screen. I don't know, man. I'm starting to get confused now. I know I got the ones that was the screen after the, uh... After the cherry bombs. Oh, well. I think... I think I'm just mistaken here. That's what's going on. I got the one on the second screen, I got the ones one screen after the cherry bombs, and I got the last screen of the corn. thought there was one on the first screen of the corn, but I guess I was wrong. Anyways, over here we will see marshmallows coming off of this conveyor belt. Now you might think, oh, well I can just walk past it, but there's an invisible wall on the right. So, the way we get past that is to come over here and use a tangerine jelly bean. How you would find this on your own, I don't know. But there's a candy cane platform up here. And we do need the blob again, so let's get some honey jelly beans out. And you walk past that switch to flip it off. Alright, now let's get our vanilla so we can safely land. Now once you find that first one, finding the second one isn't a big deal, because there it is. Yeah, I did mention that there's two screens of this, right? Now you can actually jump through the, uh, 
the candy cane. So don't worry about being like right at the edge of it. Just set your trampoline somewhere in the middle of the screen. Okay, I guess I'm a liar. Don't listen to me. I lie. I guess you do want your blob to be like right here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yes, your blob gets sad when you throw jelly beans away. And who wouldn't? Those are perfectly good jelly beans that are being thrown away. I mean, nobody wants to eat jelly beans that have been on the floor. Now, try as you might, you can't smash your head on the ceiling here like you could in the cave. At least not on this screen. There is an area later with the slope or with the lower uh, ceiling that you can, but not right there. We. All right, now there are more peppermints here. I think they're right here. Hopefully it'll be enough to get an extra life here. Yes! Alright. Now we enter the cave. Uh, let's see... I can't remember if this was the one that has more peppermints, or if it's the next screen over. I think it's this one, though. Yep. Yep, you can smash your head right there, but doesn't really matter. Alright, now you got little teeth smashers. There is a trick here. Okay, first off, their hit boxes, or their hit detection is not that precise. And they will never go twice in a row. So you're always safe to cross just after it goes down. And I probably can't concentrate on enough of them at one time to save some time here and... Well, I guess I could. I was gonna say, probably couldn't concentrate enough to save some time and go through them one after another if they happen to crush that way. Alright, right here we got this... I guess they're chocolate chips since this is like a candy factory. But honestly, to me, they look like little piles of poop. Uh, there's a peppermint in there that I have absolutely no idea how on earth you're supposed to actually get. Because if you shoot the poop, it just comes back. And it will fly towards you if you get too close or if you stay on that screen long enough. As you guys can see, uh, I'm not going to worry about that peppermint. It's there. So I showed where it is. If, uh, if one of you know how to get it, feel free to leave me a video response or a comment telling me how. But anyways, with that, we can climb back up. After we hit that switch, the poop will stop flying upward and we can cross. I have a feeling that the way you get that peppermint is just totally not worth it. Alright, up here we have an optional area. And I'm pretty sure I missed some peppermints.
All right, we're gonna have super fast teeth crushers. So the same rules still apply here. So you just want to be more careful because they're moving so much faster. And you've got two sets of them. Ah! I'm going to try my best to get past this without dying. And that is game over right there. Alright, when we resume, I will be back here with uh, a little less death, hopefully. Anyways, this has been Let's Play a Boy in this Blob. I'm Blind Magic, and I will see you guys next time. Later.